Hey, hi, hello, it's your boy Jordy, and we are back with another reaction video. And today it's kind of like a part two because it's Kelly Clarkson Chemistry. That's right, it's Kelly Clarkson Chemistry Deluxe Edition. You asked, I did. <laughs> So Kelly Clarkson has recently released the deluxe edition of Chemistry and you all know how much I loved that damn album. And now I am a celebrity. I am a Clarkston stan, Clark stan. So I'm part of the club and I cannot wait to begin the um, Kelly Clarkson deep dive adventure and journey with you. So I've got about two more albums left of my Demi Lovato deep dive, which I'm just still absolutely loving. Then I'm gonna start working my way from her most recent to her most to her earliest discography album of Kelly Clarkson. So I hope you'll join in and subscribe for that little journey. It's gonna be really fun. But today, as you know, it is Chemistry Deluxe Edition and I don't wanna waste any more time. So before we jump into it, if you would like to keep seeing more of these videos and these reaction videos, I would love for you to jump on Instagram and give me a follow at Mr. Turner. I am a fashion content creator and it is where I make most of my income. So any help, any engagement, and any support on there is, um, is the best way to support me doing this. And now without further ado, we are jumping on to the deluxe edition tracks on chemistry. So we're starting at number 15 on the deluxe edition track album, which is called, I Won't Give Up. Let's begin. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited, like. <laughs> beat of this song is like so beautiful it is just something so cool and special about it and the fact that it keeps growing and growing and developing more the more that her lyrics develop as well and the story continues to unfold is i don't know it feels really special i just wanted to quickly say that now before i forget too sleep for me i can't be the one i can't be the one who's lonely for you no, you're not the one I need it's going in the hits list what do you mean i think that was like a really special way to kind of introduce you introduce you into the deluxe edition of this album because it was so hopeful and it kind of when it started i thought it was like you know she was going to talk about the the heartbreak more of the heartbreak or like the the devastating the sad part of it but she was like i'm resilient i'm i'm built for this and i'm not going to give up and it turned from this like soft delicate song into this absolute anthem and now i also am never gonna give up no matter what 
thing I face in life. And I'm really into music uh, 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 that has so much confidence in it at the moment. I definitely am gonna be adding that to my confidence playlist to amp me up and just like, if I'm ever feeling like a bit low about something or a bit scared about something, I just like put on a specific playlist and it just amps me up and like kind of gives me the energy and the confidence and amplifies it to make sure that I can do it and get it done. Um, as much as I can possibly do. Absolutely beautiful, but in the context of like her and this incredible free therapy session of an album, Chemistry, I know that she isn't gonna give up on love. And even if that love is herself, that's the most important relationship to have. So yes, it is in the hits list and it's a beautiful song. So let's continue on to track number 16. It's called, Did You Know? Did you know I was a goonie? I didn't expect that. We're living proof of that, it seems. Did mm. you know I danced hey, with ways? I love cooking. Every night when I was 10, and my girls all flocked to boy bands. Jagged little pill was my jam. Did you know I love it's more that respect. <laughs> Six feet down. You should have tried listening. Oh, no, it's not fair. What you're asking of me. You said I was giving up, but I still was showing up. I can take a little, but get to pull a hand or something. Did you really know me, boy? Did you really know me? Yeah, my favorite. didn't make the whole album but thank you for giving it to us and gifting it to us anyway because that song is so good there are actually so many parts of that song that i absolutely loved and i didn't expect and you know from my reaction videos i love the unexpected so as soon as that song started i was like what is going on it was so kind of like Boom, I'm here, baby. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that pre chorus moment. Let me play it for you. Oh. you should have tried for me. This part. Was it was so beautiful and so full of. It's almost like she's calling out for. Um, like, listen to me, and the way that her just voice carried so much emotion was out of control. And it's just that same thing that I said in the last video where it's that quote that I read somewhere where someone said, music is what feelings sound like. And these artists, when they can package that up into these beautiful little emotional balls that they sing and we feel it and we pick it up and we cherish it and we connect with it, what a damn gift! So I loved that, but I also loved the part after this. I love that where she's just kind of letting her vocal ride out and there's another layer on top. Absolutely loved that and it sounded so beautiful and so like mellow, but then she came in, of course, afterwards with that part that I just played before. And then in the, the other part that I absolutely loved about this is when she started singing and it sounded like it was in a development or a part of the beat and her lyrics sounded like it was something to actually bop along to as well. And it was part of the production of the track. 
Uh, I don't think I'm saying what I'm trying to say properly, but it's when her lyrics and her voice actually sounded like it was part of the beat, and it's this part here. Love it! Like, it is so cool when artists do that, and I think it's such a cool evolution of a, a way to, like, you know, keep developing your track and, and keep you interested. So all she could do was sing on a friggin' tick... One of those cool tempo timers and I'd be into it. <laughs> Absolutely love this song. I think it's so cool. And I love the messaging of it as well. Let's go on to the next track. It is called, it's called You Don't Make Me Cry and it's featuring River Ross. Dun, 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 dun. I don't have the time to help you unwind all the ways you don't approve. I fuck with that intro, it's so good. Nothing you say is making sense today, so I think I'll take my cue. Hey! Okay, so is that her kid or something, the intro and the outro? Because that is so cool. It sounds, I actually would love to hear that as, as a beat on its own. I'm just like tr coming to terms with, uh, and to remind you, like, this is still kind of my first Kelly album. Just how cool and like just how much she can actually do. This is such a beautiful, simple song. Like, the production was quite simple, but. Lyrically, she was giving it everything. Vocally, I mean, she always sounds so good. I can picture myself singing in the car to every single lyric, to every single, like, it was It was giving storyline in this, in this song. Like, I could actually, you know, every single verse, I could picture exactly what she was talking about and, and sing. It was like reading a book. And I love when you have that really beautiful, strong visual elements to songs in their lyrics. You know, it's so empowering, like, I don't know, I just, I think I forgot from listening to the last chemistry, from listening to actual chemistry, just how powerful that she, she truly is. Track number 18 is Goodbye. This already sounds so beautiful. I'm scared. <laughs>
That is, <laughs> that's fucked up. That song has to be my favorite so far. What? I really try hard not to pause music, but I get to the end of the song and I'm like, fuck, I, I, like, there are so many things going through my head. I don't know what to pinpoint and pull out and talk about because there is, there were so many beautiful elements of that song. One of them is that the, f the fact that it was just, okay, firstly, <laughs> let's try. The beat was so stunning. It felt so nostalgic and the, the beat itself was fueled by memories. And I think contextually that fits the song so beautifully and so well. Her actual voice element in the beat as well in the background, which kind of like made me think about like Adele's Rivoli. Lyrically, again, she's just delivering so much emotional growth and I just love that she must have been exploring so much about her relationship through songwriting and through music and then, you know, us now getting to get to listen to it and then and experience what she was feeling through her, you know, journey is so special and I'm just I'm, I'm so grateful to Kelly again I think I said this in the last reaction that I'm just so happy that we get to listen Augie leave it sorry my my dog's just playing with his little Rudolph reindeer thing that I bought him yesterday and one more thing I would like to note about that track is the outro or just letting that goodbye ride out because it felt so good the beat was so good and i just really love when you're vibing with something so much like i think i just close my eyes and i've you know some people might say it would be quite repetitive but i just didn't want it to stop i could have had it for a whole another you know 10 minutes it felt really therapeutic the way that she was saying goodbye and just making it last and making it you know maybe even say it so many times that she then believed it herself. You know, there were so many ways that you could think about that and and feel that. I'm into that. How many times have I said so? It's like my, it's like my um, it's my thought provoking connection word. Um, but yeah, that's a hits list for me. What a beautiful song. Let's go on to track number 19. It's called Roses. There's some things you just can't hide. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Your eyes still point in my direction, but they lost the light. I don't know, I don't mind. Time is funny that way, kills me to say it's too late for roses. Did you just stop my music? Did you stop my music, Oggy? Did you? There you go. Take it away. I might regret it once I See, the way just then that she was singing, it felt like a beat and it felt so good. I was so patient, chances wasted, had to draw a line. Mm. 
I need to go back and listen to that lyrically because I was just vibing with the actual, you know, tune and the vibe to it. But again, I loved how she was singing and it sounded like a beat. And also, I just also was thinking about while listening to that song, just how good her voice is and this album. How powerful that I can be, that I can be to make people just want to like know everything about you or just like want to dive into your whole artistry. So, oh, Kelly, you're just the best. Track 20 is mine, one of my favorite songs from Chemistry, um, and I think it's a live version, so let's listen. <laughs> it literally sounds like the studio version. Her voice. Fuck. Here we go, I'm scared. to freaking see her live especially from this album not that i've listened to any others but still i'm cooked i'm hooked i'm clark stan i'm a celebrity i don't know how her vocals can sound exactly the same as the freaking studio album like that's freaking power let's go on to track number 21 it's favorite kind of high david guetta david guetta I don't know if I'm gonna like this. No. Take me home tonight. There's no escape in your ghost alone. Ain't a drink that's strong enough. You're my favorite kind of high. I should pull me like a bird. Sorry, that's not my kind of thing. I'm not into that at all. The original though is where my heart's at. I'm sorry, I just, <laughs> I don't really like remixes and I don't like kind of sounds like that. I'm gonna try the next one. It's another remix of mine, which is, as you know, like probably my favorite song of chemistry. I'm gonna stop it again if it's like this. <laughs> Oh! 
Nope, no thank you, not for me. That will not be happening in my house. So that is the Chemistry Deluxe Edition. And I've got to say the non-remix tracks, I think were all so good. I don't know how they didn't make it onto the original album, but if I do look at Chemistry, the original edition as its own standalone thing, it really does just like, it really is perfect. I think if I had to pick one song just to add in there, I would have picked Goodbye. It shook me to my core. I, I can see why there is a deluxe edition and those tracks were added on, but they were all just so good. Imagine just the actual task of looking at all the songs that you record um, for a specific album and then picking which ones actually make it to the final cut. That must be so, so hard. It's crazy. I, I definitely don't envy Kelly's uh, Kelly's task because, and I also imagine because imagine all the songs that she would write, like generally, and she would record because she sounds so good at anything. <laughs> If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you'll stay tuned for what's coming up after our Demi Lovato discography deep dive, because it's the Kelly Clarkson discography deep dive. So please hit subscribe and we can do and go and experience that journey together, you and me. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, again, hit subscribe. And I want to know what you thought in the comment section below. Yeah! Until next time, it's your boy Geordie, and we'll just keep listening and keep reacting.